And also, maybe your product's not that good. Uh-oh. Maybe your service is not that good. You don't want to talk about that part. It's your main man, E-Vapors. We back in here. Y'all know how we do it, baby. If you're the first time to the channel, please, please, please subscribe, man. Love y'all, man. Had a great, man, I had a great, great, great meeting um, with my people. You know, the Zany guy designs my my tees and, and hoodies and all that stuff, right? And, and my backpack logo and everything. Check out the Zany guy on Instagram. Description will be below. You know what I mean? But look, had a great business meeting, man. You, you have to have the meeting of the mind, right? You have to meet with your folk. You gotta be able to bounce ideas off people that know how to take what you're saying and give you an honest assessment of what you're saying. And be able to challenge you on what you're saying for the greater good of the greater goal. So just had a great meeting with my people, man. My boy Demetrius, Jackie, man, we yo. All I can tell you is some big things is coming. Big things are coming. We got more designs that are coming out. But when you're doing business, let's, let's go there. When you're doing business and you have a price, that's your price. Don't let people set your price. What do I mean by that? You're selling t-shirts. Let's just say, for example, our logo tees for the for the e-vapors YouTube channel. We're selling shirts. You can't call me, text me, or email me and say, hey man, you know, let me get one of those for $10. If this really is $45 or $50, that's how much it is. I challenge that person to call Gucci, call Ferragamo, call you name it, Balenciaga, you, you, you plug in your company and tell them how much their stuff is gonna cost. <laughs> This is what I know to be true. And I have designer clothing. You open up the tag, cotton is cotton. Polyester blend is polyester blend. That company, there are only a few manufacturers of- Get your hands on the wheel. Let me go ahead and peep y'all game, right? What these companies do, all the companies are buying from the same three, four main manufacturers. And they're slapping on Lacoste. They're slapping on Sean John. They slapping on Gucci. They slapping on Balenciaga. A cotton wool blend t-shirt is a cotton wool blend t-shirt no matter who makes it. You just switch out the logo and you tag inside the neck. Just to give y'all some inside business information. So when you set your price, you're paying to be able to say, I have one of these exclusive e-vapor tees. I have one of these thousand dollar Gucci t-shirts. I'm not mad that Gucci set their prices for a thousand dollars on a shirt. If, anybody should be, if, if I should be mad with anybody, I should be mad with me for not setting a thousand dollars on a t-shirt. Now, when you make something exclusive, that's what it is. It's a price to have something that's exclusive. Hey, I'm one of the few people that have one of these $100 uh, e-vapors hoodies. Oh man, I ain't paying a hundred dollars for no hoodie. Relax, they don't cost a hundred dollars. I'm not you to. I'm not talking to you. I don't, I, you don't have the expendable cash to spend a hundred dollars on a hoodie and that's fine whatever your situation is or you don't see the value in paying a hundred dollars for a particular hoodie that's fine you can't see my shoes right now got on some yeezys they 250. i'm not paying 250 for some sneakers that's why you don't have them on because you don't see the value in that particular shoe that i have on or you don't have the expendable cash to buy a 250 pair of shoes either way you're not wrong because there are millions. Didn't I say keep your hands on the wheel? Of consumers ready to buy. There are hundreds and hundreds and thousands, millions of people that have two hundred dollars ready to buy your hoodie. There are millions of people ready right now to buy your exclusive art for a thousand dollars. But a lot of times we let people set our price. Moving forward, today I'm encouraging you. Don't let people set your price. You set your own price, whatever that price is now. Whatever that price is. I'm gonna do some quick math. Pay attention, Let's major key. We'll go back to the whole t-shirt example. Let's say you spent $15 for the blank t-shirt, okay? 
Fifteen dollars with a blank T-shirt coming out the gate. Now, it took. It's going to take you time to print it. You have to spend. If you have a printer, that's ink. You know what I'm saying? That's design time. All that stuff goes together. All that stuff goes into the actual cost. So you started out with, we're just gonna say a ten dollar T-shirt. You gotta at least double it. At a minimum, you gotta double it to break even because you're gonna pay taxes. Your time you spent, your materials, and paying taxes. Oh, you gotta at least double. Your ten dollar T-shirt at a minimum is twenty dollars because you paid ten for the shirt. Now, when you become a bigger company and you can get shirts at a smaller amount of dollar, a smaller amount per unit then your price can be whatever. And then you add on the fact that your shirts are exclusive. You're not trying to be a Walmart t-shirt hanging up in Walmart. You're not trying to be um, on the corner t-shirt that's $10 and you're just trying to scrape up some loose change. That's not what you're trying to do. You're a brand and your brand has value. And you set the price of $40 for your t-shirt or $50 for your t-shirt or $100 for your t-shirt that's how much your t-shirt is. So don't let people set your prices. Y'all hear that beeping? Make sure I don't hit this, this truck. Don't let people set your prices. Don't do that. You set your own prices, man. And you're gonna be so happy as a business owner, business person, when you set your prices and you see the orders rolling in. It may not be your family and friends who say that it costs too much. Those aren't the customers you're looking for. Family and friends were never meant to sustain a business model. Never. Family and friends are great for getting you off the ground, for push, put, even if they don't buy, for sharing the link, for reposting pictures of your of your stuff. That's what family and friends are for. Like a launch. Like if you had a launch, you know, at a, a, a NASA had a launch. It's a one-time thing. They don't relaunch. Once you launch and you're up and you enter outer space, you don't relaunch. So same thing for a business. You don't keep coming back to your family and friends expecting them to launch you again and launch you again and relaunch you again. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. So don't get it confused that your family and friends are not supporting you. They're gonna fall into one of a few categories. Don't see the value in the product. Can't afford the product. Simply just don't want the product. And, and four, they're gonna be a person, family or friend that they're just gonna post it, they're gonna share it, they're gonna talk about it. That's value in that too. So don't get upset no matter what category family and friends fall in, whether they're buying the product, whether they're not buying it, whether they like it, whether they don't like it, or whether they're just sharing it, reposting it, there's value in all of that. And also, Maybe your product's not that good. Uh-oh. Maybe your service is not that good. We don't want to talk about that part. You have to be the genius creative to have a design that's dope. That people like and people want to buy. Because there are millions of people out there, man. They're, they're in California. They're overseas. They're in all different states. They're, they may not be sitting right beside you right now. They may not be aunt so-and-so uncle so-and-so best friend from high school it may not be those people at all man that's okay they're for the launch party and even if they don't show up at the launch party you're still going to launch yeah because you're going to press the start button on your rocket and you're going to take off even if nobody's there to help you launch might take a little bit longer because you're doing it by yourself but that's okay it's going to be so satisfying and it's going to be worth it so just to close this out, man, I appreciate y'all as always for tuning in to the channel, man. Just being a part of the other campaign, man, being a part of what we're doing. Um, I, I appreciate each and every one of y'all that take time to watch five minutes, six, 10 minutes, 15, or watch the whole video. I, I appreciate that, man. I, I, don't, I don't take any of that for granted. And you're gonna be great and you're gonna do well. That's all I got, man. You know what we do around here? We swipe up.